do you really understand how mortgage interest rates are determined? Many people assume that the Fed funds sets the mortgage rate. They don't, but the Federal Reserve does influence it. The Fed controls short-term interest rates by increasing them or decreasing them based on the state of the economy. Meaning if they want to loosen or tighten the money supply, they're going to adjust those rates. So a tight monetary policy is when the economy is accelerating far too quickly and is in a state of inflation, meaning prices are rising too fast. While mortgage rates aren't directly tied to the short-term rates that the Fed sets, when that short-term rate does change, the prime rate usually follows in suit afterwards to keep up with the cost to borrow money. Traditional mortgages do not function off of the prime rate, but are instead impacted by mortgage bonds, known as mortgage-backed securities. These are bundles of mortgages that are sold in the bond market. There's an inverse relationship with the price of the bonds and mortgage rates. So when bond prices are high, rates are lower. And when bond prices are low, mortgage rates are higher. All that to say, when you see all the hubbub on the media about the prime rates increasing, that doesn't mean that the mortgage rates are also going to increase. You may see an increase in the prime rate and no change in the traditional mortgage rates. Now to add another layer to it, mortgage rates and inflation do go hand in hand. When inflation increases, interest rates increase so they can keep up with the value of the dollar. If inflation decreases, the mortgage rates drop. And we saw a quite long period of those lower mortgage rates during a time of very low inflation. So during periods of that low inflation, the mortgage rates tend to stay relatively the same or slightly fluctuate.